talking of post mills, you actually came up post mill close. And yet this fine structure here is what they call a tower mill. And the reason for that is, if you look here, this is the kind of mill that was on the site, the back or body of the mill. So to make sure that the, when the wind blows from this direction, the miller has to get out, get hold of this 30 great long lever, and levers feature quite a lot in windmills, this lever called the tail pole, and you push that tail pole round so that the mill is facing the wind. If the wind changes, the miller has to get out and change it again. On the front of the mill is the sails. They would go round in a reasonable breeze about 12 revolutions a minute. You've got a brick tower built of woodside bricks from down the road. So they should be good bricks, but a few of them have uh, started to decay a bit. On the top of it, you've got the cap, which is the boat shaped structure. And that boat shaped structure will give you um, uh, houses the first part of the power chain to the machinery and also turns into the wind. So when the wind changes on this bit, uh, struck mill, the cap turns it to face the wind and it does it by means of this little windmill at the back called the fans. Now that's about as much as you really want to know. You've got the cap, the sails, the fan tail and the tail. Shut like this, like the village you line, and the mill will start running. If the wind then gets up a lot, there will be a tendency for the shutters to open. So the miller would go round the back of the mill because the mill was uh, struck by lightning twice in the past, so we don't want it to happen again. Sort of thing. Both times, the prompt action of the Croydon Borough Fire Brigade um, promptly put the fire out. But uh, so it's been struck by lightning, so you're quite safe. And the council come checking the suspension and actually uh, hooked uh, by hooking weights on the chain, actually activates the the sails of the shuttle run. Above us, we've got the fan tower, and if you look up, um, the fans underneath the cap here, where the top window is, where they've got the anti-pigeon weights. I personally wouldn't want to carry one. Um, I'd use a sack barrel, take it round, oh. hook it on. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Right. Oh, she wants to go last, so I'm going to go last with her. Well, okay. <laughs> 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 there is. <laughs> the curb. So the brick tower, if you can see my mark thing, the brick, brick tower finishes here. On top of that is a wooden curb, and that's held on by these tie rods that go down to the floor below. On top of the wooden curb, trust me because you can't see it, is all round in various sections, cast iron pieces, this is about quarter sky. It engages with the metal on the edge of the curb and that will actually drive the mill. Now I said things are all done by levers. Um, the corn is brought up on a sack hoist, which means we're spilling the wind, letting the wind go through the sails. In a high wind, there's always a chance the mill will take off and the brake won't hold it. Then you've got the classic case of this would get hot. You've got dust up here, you've got a damn good chance of an explosion. So a dusty atmosphere um, and, the, and, and the, that friction making that, or if you get sparks, you know, caps get blown off and all kinds of things like that. On the cast iron wheel, it would be expensive to repair. Whereas if you get any wear or damage, it's going to be the wooden teeth and all you need is a good carpenter to uh, uh, shape another tooth up and wedge it in from this side so that each individual tooth is uh, inserted that way. Now, the wallower would be going round when the sails are going round, whether the miller is milling or not. And the reason for that, he might want to just bring the sacks of corn up here from the loading door where we saw them, right up to here for storage before processing. Chain at the bottom, the materials come up 
and then come up through these one way one way trap doors. They only go one way these trap doors. You won't. I know. <laughs> right, so they come up and to get them to come up by pulling this rope if you look at the gap, look up here and you can see the women. It's about the only place you can, with the trees all around, that you can actually see it. Bear in mind, all these bits would have been winched up. In you want to go first? Yeah, go. Thanks, you I could work out why they would be wooden, but they are doing them as far. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. well, I thought that actually came up the top, it was nice and cool. Mm. It's, lovely, it's, nice. Okay. it's the lever that operates the uh, device above that engages the sack hoist. The door goes all the way down, the one way trap doors again, corn comes up in the sacks, like this part of this floor. Model that was made professionally for us. Yeah, that one's not, uh, well, the other ones we've had have been having the trouble. Getting into the mill, and then they uh, put the bearings in and aligned it all up. So the corn is coming down the chute into the hopper. From the hopper, it goes into the feed shoe. From the feed shoe, it goes into the eye of the stones. It then gets ground, and by grounding it's a shearing process, it's not a crushing process like modern flour is made. Modern flour is made by crushing it between rollers. Uh, stone ground flour is actually sheared between the corn gets caught in the furrows of the stones and keeps it in Can I just go down? Uh, now you're on. Right, that's it. Right, now, oh, we've got mice in this, a circular sieve or wire machine, it's a, a fine mesh sieve and what the, wood, the miller would do, the meal would come down from the stones, down those chutes there and these chutes here, he would then grab the sieve due to that restoration he'd done in 20, 1927 that a lot of the machinery is still original in this mill. I mean, parts have been uh, repaired and modified and rebuilt but most of it is due to the fact that he restored this mill in the, in the 20s. Then the council never demolished it. They were going to demolish it when they built the school and there was a big public outcry. Mm. And uh, when the school got demolished, uh, the mill survived.